in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus you are most welcome to hear the word of god through this episode of thunder of god praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord the gospel of saint luke chapter 10 verse 42 jesus said there is only one thing needed and mary has chosen the better part it will not be taken away from her so now let us praise him glorify him let us thank him adore him let us surrender our entire life to him and ask him to pour out his precious bread upon us and wash our imagination wash our thought pattern that may the spirit of god control us completely please close your eyes and if possible raise your hands and give him glory and honor thank you lord praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah thank you lord praise you jesus hallelujah 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 we praise you Lord we praise you Lord thank you Lord we glorify your name Jesus we love you Lord Jesus fill us with your love Lord fill us with your anointing Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah you can I look upon the cross where you died humble by your mercy and a broken inside Jesus once again I thank you once again I pour out my life oh Jesus once again I look upon the cross where you died and humble by your mercy and a broken inside once again I thank you Once again I pour out my life Oh Jesus thank you for the cross Oh Jesus thank you for the cross Jesus thank you for the cross my friend Oh Jesus thank you for the cross Oh your people thank you for the cross Thank you for the cross my friend Thank you Lord thank you for the cross Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, my friend. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, my friend. Think about this love, the gracious love. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. We are your children. Thank you for the cross, my friend.
give us your spirit that we may love your son Jesus passionately thank you Jesus praise you Jesus hallelujah 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 so my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus today we like to speak about gospel of luke chapter 10 verse 42 jesus said mary has chosen the better part and there is only one thing needed and it will not be taken away from her as you know jesus went to the house of martha and mary martha was very good woman but she was busy with many types of works but mary she knew that jesus is lord jesus wants to speak to her heart so she sat quietly at the feet of the lord and she was listening to his words and her heart was filled with his love her heart was filled with holy spirit she was really immersed in the presence of the lord jesus christ so she was very content she was very satisfied but martha she was very busy with the works and she became anxious so she came to jesus and complained jesus ask my sister to help me in these works but jesus said martha martha you are anxious about many things you are anxious about many things when you hear the word of god the lord is speaking to your heart my dear son my dear daughter you are anxious about many things but only one thing is needed only one thing that is to sit at the feet of the lord and look to the lord he wants to speak to your heart only one thing needed it will not be taken away from you jesus knew this and jesus really was doing this thing in all his lifetime jesus spent his time with the lord with his heavenly father in the gospel of saint luke chapter 5 verses 15 and 16 so jesus started his ministry and the heavenly father was with him and uh, lots of miracles happened and the people crowded to him but the bible says please listen but now more than ever the word about jesus spread abroad many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases but he would withdraw to deserted places and pray so though hundreds and thousands of people gathered to him his most priority was to speak to the heavenly father to speak to the heavenly father or to listen to the heavenly father that's why jesus resorted to uh, lonely places and jesus spent time in prayer again the gospel of mark chapter 1 verse 35 gospel of mark chapter 1 verse 35 sometimes jesus got up very early morning and jesus went to a lonely place where he could pray please listen in the morning while it was still very dark yeah. he got up and went out to a deserted place and there he prayed so he had a very very powerful connection with the heavenly father and jesus really wants each one of to have the same relationship with the heavenly father that's why jesus said to mary you have chosen the better part it will not be taken away from you 
praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah one day while pope john paul the second was praying in his chapel his secretary came and said pope a president has come from a country he wants to see you he wants to speak to you then pope john paul the second said please tell him that i am speaking to a more important person here now praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord so he was a man of prayer pope john paul ii many many days till 11 o'clock in the morning he used to pray in front of the blessed sacrament though he was very busy he found out time to be with him and last day i read a very beautiful thing about pope francis every day he gets up at 4 o'clock in the early morning and he prays for 3 hours spending his time with the lord speaking to him hearing him so he is content he is satisfied he is joyful why because he has this strong connection with his lord praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. many of us have this martha syndrome and the solution is mary and the lord is reminding us we have to be one with the lord through our prayer praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah that is why jesus said in gospel of matthew chapter 6 verse 33 seek thy kingdom and justice then everything will be added unto thee so the most important thing is to seek his justice and his kingdom so that is in our heart it comes in our heart that is peace joy and righteousness that is the kingdom so how can we achieve this we can achieve this through our intimate relationship with the christ jesus hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus in the early church when the church grew hundreds and thousands of people came to the church and what happened there were lots of complaints and confusions in the early church so that we see in the acts of the apostles chapter 6 verses 1 following as you know in the early church there were two beautiful uh, types of people one hellenist and other jewish people and there were some confusions so we can listen how the apostles managed to overcome this confusion please listen now during those days when the disciples were increasing in number the hellenists complained against the hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food and the 12 called together the whole community of the disciples and said it is not right that we should neglect the word of god in order to wait on tables therefore friends select from among yourselves seven men of good standing full of the spirit and of wisdom whom we may appoint to this task while we for our part will devote ourselves to prayer and to serving the word so you see the apostles had lots of works and they spend their time serving the tables then the holy spirit began to speak to them no for it is not for this you are called you have to spend your time in prayer and in the preaching ministry so you find out other people so some of you may be uh, may be priest and some of you may be uh, very selected people from by god you know you are hearing the word of god now the lord wants to speak to you in a special way our duty is to spend our time with the lord then only the lord can speak to us then only we can hear his words then only when we preach his word it will become powerful praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah so when i got uh, ordination and i went to uh, retreat center and father savior the retreat director he told me this beautiful passage he said to father soji we have to spend our time in prayer and in the ministry of the word that is the most important thing 
So it's a retreats and that's growing now. We have got lots of works here, but always you you must concentrate on these two things. You have to immerse in prayer. You have to have a very powerful, uh, meaningful uh, contact with the heavenly Father. Then only you will be able to preach the gospel. Really, it really touched my heart. I took a decision. If I become when I become a parish priest. i will entrust many things to the lay people and i have to spend my time in prayer and in the ministry of the word and really i remember now 14 years i am a priest i was a parish priest still now i am a parish priest in in the uk and the lord really gives me people just like deacons who help me in the ministry so that i can spend more time in prayer and in the ministry of the word the lord really calls each one of us to spend our qualitative time with the lord praise the lord praise, praise the, lord. the lord hallelujah hallelujah that's why when jesus appointed 12 disciples he gave them three main duties the first and most important duty the lord has given to them is to be with him to be with jesus that is the most important duty the bible says in the gospel of mark chapter 3 verse 13 following it's very beautiful please listen to the word of god he went up the mountain and called to him those whom he wanted and they came to him and he appointed 12 whom he also named apostles to be with him yeah that is the most important thing to be with him then and to be sent out and to, to be sent out to proclaim the message to the proclaim the message and to have authority to cast out demons so these three important ministries so the most important ministry is to be with the master hallelujah 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 so, my dear brother and sister you may be a parent but this is applied for you also The Lord really wants us to spend our time with him. He wants to speak to us. We want to get his power. Only with his power, with his presence, with his anointing, we can do our ministries. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Maybe bringing up our children, maybe in our office, we need it. So may the Lord Jesus Christ give you the strong desire to be with him. Now let us close our eyes and pray. Abba Father, in Jesus name I pray for your people for a fresh outpouring of your spirit that we may spend our time in hearing your word and in loving you. Jesus, open our hearts and minds. Holy Spirit, help us. You are the helper. We need we need your help so that we can experience the powerful presence of you thank you lord jesus jesus jesus, jesus. give us a heart, the heart of mary yes lord jesus we need it lord. we want to spend our time with you lord come lord jesus open our minds and hearts oh lord fill us with your love Jesus. fill us with your presence us, oh purify our mind pattern jesus. purify our thought pattern jesus. thank you jesus thank you, we jesus. want to give priority to you lord jesus, yes, lord. jesus. come lord hallelujah jesus, jesus. jesus. holy jesus. spirit hallelujah. spirit of jesus, jesus. anoint jesus. your people jesus. touch jesus. your people jesus. heal your people jesus. come holy spirit jesus. come holy spirit take away our anxiety from us jesus. oh give us content give us satisfaction jesus. hallelujah jesus. holy spirit. Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Holy Spirit. Send your spirit. Abba. Oh Lord, our God. Abba, Father, we need your spirit. Send your spirit. Send your spirit, oh Lord, I come. Send your spirit.
of Luke chapter 10 verse 42 there is need of only one thing and Mary has chosen the better part it will not be taken away from her hallelujah hallelujah Most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus now we are in the presence of the blessed sacrament he is here he is touching us Psalm 62 verse 2 the Bible says he alone is my rock my salvation my fortress and i will never be shaken now let us raise our hearts and hands towards him and give him glory and honor hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus this is the power of christ in me jesus from life's first cry Jesus. to final breath Jesus commands my destiny no power of hell no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns and calls me home Here in the power of Christ I stand. Thank 
thank you jesus thank you lord praise you jesus thank you lord praise you jesus thank you jesus you are the fortress you are our refuge praise you lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus first john chapter 4 verse 4 the one who is inside me is greater than the one who is outside the world now we receive his blessing once again let us surrender our entire life to him and let us be aware of his presence lord jesus fill us with your presence now let us receive his blessing thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah lord thank you lord thank you lord most holy oh sacrament divine all praise and all thanks giving be every moment thine oh sacrament most holy sacrament divine oh praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine oh sacrament most holy oh sacrament divine Oh praise and all thanksgiving